y'all so if you are new to my channel welcome please make sure to hit the subscribe button and hit the bell to be notified when i post and if you are not new welcome back to my channel so today i have a story time and a shein clothing haul for you guys um so story times okay so i recorded this shein clothing haul once before um and I didn't really like how I looked in it, but then I ended up having issues with my videographer, which I will tell y'all about. And once I started having issues with him, like I recently just went back and watched the video and I was like mentioning some of his old stuff. So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna reshoot it all. Story time, here we go. So I met, um, you know, I'm just starting out on YouTube. I'm working, um, but I'm only working weekends. So, a lot of like the filming and editing that gets done for my channel i have to pay for out of pocket and so like you know i just was looking for a videographer that would work with me on price um and you know as i come up they come up too you know so i met this guy and he was like you know i can uh bring your dreams to reality blah blah um he wasn't like no scammy type stuff but it was just like we could work together and make this work so the number one thing we butted heads about was me representing minority owned businesses so i just told him i'm like that's what i'm about i'm about helping my people and bringing us up and he was really trying to get me to do all businesses that was like the first thing that i was just like not comfortable with because i'm like no i'm still gonna do this regardless of what you feel you know i respect your feelings and stuff but I got to be for my people. So that was number one. Number two, and this was really just like where I was just done with him. So I had this meeting with this business. It was not in the best part of town, but it was harmless. You know, there were some people out on the street, but you walk past and they were friendly. Hey, how are you? Cool. Keep on going about your way. So I pull up and I'm like, you know, okay, the area, you know, I've got a mindful eye, you know, whatever. So then he pulls up and he texts me, he's like, are you here? And I'm like, yeah, you know, I'm about to get out of my car, head in the restaurant. And he was like, well, this is not a safe area. And you know, my response was, yes, I agree. It's not the best area. Let's just go ahead and shoot, get out of here, you know, go on about our days. He was like, well, no, I don't feel comfortable. And I was like, look, I don't have any other videographer. We're supposed to meet them at two, it's 1.58. I can't find another videographer to do this. And, you know, I just told him, I need you to be here. Like, it's, why would you just cancel on me right now? So he said no and he left. Thankfully, God was in my presence because I ended up just like, I purchased some things to like kind of start playing around with recording on my own but I never touched them. You know, I was just like throwing a whole bunch of stuff in my bag that day. I'm like, I'm gonna just take this, I'm gonna just take this. You know, I don't know why I'm taking, but I'm just taking it. And literally everything I threw into my bag, I needed that day. But regardless of that being said, he's cut. Um, I don't respect that at all. If we had, it's not professional. If we have a meeting and the thing was earlier that day, he asked me, Hey, what's the address at that point in time? When I sent it to him, he could have looked up the address, looked up the location and told me then, you know, Hey, I don't feel comfortable. I would have been okay with that. I get it. At least you leave me time to plan for a plan B, but he didn't do that. So he was definitely cut and I actually learned that day that I can do this myself. I do have a videographer and he's great, um, but I also know for the times that he's not available, I have learned to be self-sufficient myself. So I'm about to just start busting out some videos myself. Also, I went to the thrift store, my local thrift store, although they made me mad, but we are gonna get to that. But I got a studio studio light box thing. I don't even know what they're called because I knew it was something that was not in my, you know, price bracket. But I love it so much. So this light you see right now, that's the light, baby. And guess how much I got it for? $13. So that's my new baby. I thrifted it and I was so proud of it. And then, because when I saw it, I'm like, does it work? It can't be here and it works. And I plugged it in, it worked. I'm like, okay. I'm like, well, let me see how much these light bulbs are because I don't want to buy this thing and it has $800 light bulbs. 
forty dollars on Amazon. So yes, your girl knows how to thrift. So with all that being said, I'm going to just reshoot this Shein haul. Um, I say Shein. I heard people say Shein. I don't know. I say Shein. And basically, I am kind of like happy now because I went and got some more pieces. It was really just like accessories and stuff, but I got some more accessories so to like add to the haul. So let's do this before i get into the video though i do want to shout out a black owned business of course of course um black owned woman owned minority owned however you want to put it um it's this t-shirt right here i am a brand ambassador for her it's shea beauty land and you can find her products at sheabeautyland.com um she offers everything from like customized Crocs. Um, you see she has some t-shirts, some lashes, lip gloss, um, and some charm bracelets. But the thing that I really like about her is that she like, the stuff is unique. Like you're not gonna find it everywhere else. Um, oh, and I got a bonnet from her too. Actually, let me go get that. So y'all, <laughs> look at this bonnet. This is so cute. When I saw it, I was like, I have to have it. And so I have it and I love it. It's actually like when I braid my hair down, it works when it's like flat, but it also works when it's like I have a lot of hair too. So it's just beautiful. So definitely check her out um, on that. And remember that shadebeautyland.com. And so let's go ahead and jump into this haul. The first piece I'm gonna show y'all is actually what I'm wearing right now. Okay, so it's the two piece rhinestone decor necklace set. And this was $4.99. I do have, I should have probably put this tighter because it does kind of flip on you. But it doesn't do that if it, you know, um, is tighter. So, yeah. This is the necklace. Trying to figure out what's going on down here. Yes, this is the necklace. Um, it's not quite like gold gold. It's not quite bronze it's kind of like in the middle um but like just these little rhinestones in here are like when light hits it it just shines so it may not be a diamond baby yet but it's serving okay and then some of the uh the chain on the butterfly one it has the rhinestones too so yes that's number one. Number two are um, acrylic frame sunglasses. And these are $3.33. If you guys are following me on Instagram at MJAYYY99, you would have seen a picture in actually um, the blazer dress I'm about to show y'all with these glasses. And my black purse that I don't know where it's at but that's okay. So yes, this is serving very much bougie. Yes. So that's item number one. Item number two is this marble satchel bag. I got this for $5.82. So one thing about me is I love, love, love 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 marble like just the look of it and everything and I don't know if you guys noticed but like I have two businesses first is you know my culture food fashion and the other one is my twice a charm boutique both of them use marble I just love it so anyways this is like a small cute purse um a lot of my purses are too small to fit my phone this one is not it's actually very very roomy it has you know it doesn't have any compartments or anything but um it does zip up now it came with this strap but the strap doesn't have like any what's the word i'm looking for it doesn't have any hooks it doesn't have any you know any way to connect to this purse so i was a little bit confused like it looks like you would literally have to sew on the strap thing so yeah that didn't make much sense to me but i don't need a strap i usually just carry my purses like this so yeah that's the marble satchel bag okay next Next is this five piece thorn decor chain bracelet set. 
and it, I got this for $2.50. I got five bracelets for $2.50. That's what I call saving. I'm frugal, y'all. I already done told you that. But this is like the thorn one. That's one. Two is just like this plain chain to kind of like complement all the extra going on. And then the flames one. That's so cute. And then lastly, this one with the lock on it. That is only four pieces. I ain't missing a piece. Okay. Here's piece number five. Um, this is like a chunkier chain. It's different from this one. But yeah. That's the five piece set. So next is this um, anklet. I really haven't even pulled it out the pack yet. I'd be waiting to wear stuff until the right moment. Let's see if I can. Yeah, I don't know if y'all can really see that, but it's an M for Michaela. And I can't wait to wear this. I usually wear like mostly gold jewelry um, just because it like goes with my skin tone. Um, but like, I feel like some outfits just need a silver, you know, necklace or some earrings or whatever so i do have like a few pieces that are silver which is a piece that i'm going to show y'all later this was a dollar and 33 cents so yes there's that um next is this oh i love this so much a lace-up corset belt which is turned the wrong way yeah so this is a lace-up corset belt um, also, if you follow me, you should have seen this, uh, a picture with this in it. My, um, big Ashley, I love her to death. She got me this dress. She was like, you like this dress? I was like, yeah, girl, that looks so cute on you. You compare it with this, this, and this. And she ended up sending it to me. So, yeah, I had to wear it. Um, when I turned one for my organization, Ward Modeling Troop Incorporated, yes. Um, but all that besides, you know. Um, so yeah, I bought one of these before from Amazon, but it was like a little bit too big and it didn't have a way for me to like tie it or anything. It was just like basically one of those things that, you know, you just put on. It didn't have settings. It didn't have nothing. So it was like really baggy and weird on me. And I tried to wear it. I promise you I tried, but it just, every time I wore it, I looked so stupid. I'm like, I can't do this no more. But I also did buy a new one. So this one actually fits and it gives me the option to like loosen it. So yeah, this, I love how it like, fits right under my boobs it, you know <laughs> and then even though like it is kind of tight but it really gives you like that waist that you're looking for um you can loosen it this is like adjustable so you can adjust it this was four dollars and 43 cents it wasn't even five dollars people like come on i think this was i shopped during they were having a special i think it was like the first time I shopped for them, they were doing Black Friday special. And then the second time I shopped for them, I just used like a regular code that they had given me. By the way, I am a Shein Campus Babe and I do offer um, a code for some money off. So if you're interested in that, the code is USB960. So yeah, um, I did purchase all of the pieces that I'm doing in this haul, but y'all want some discounts and stuff check them out and it's shein s-h-e-i-n dot com the next item is the flat top square frame sunglasses i got these for 4.43 i call these the baddie glasses <laughs> these are so so cute so bougie i'm starting to get more and more into like really bougie sunglasses so this is definitely a pair. I also wore this with my outfit with the corset belt and the dress. So cute. So yeah, definitely check that out. Give your girl some likes. Next is the safety decor bucket hat. I have been trying to find like, I've been wanting to get into hats cause like I just feel like it's that cool, cute, you know, addition to an outfit. But I have a huge issue with my head fitting in the hat. I don't know what it is, but I just have a really hard time. So I was pleasantly surprised when I got this because it not only 
fits, but it has like a little bit of room so you can like really pull it down and it looks like a bucket hat. So I'm gonna try that on for y'all now. <laughs> get into me. <laughs> Hold on, maybe get into me. Okay. But yeah, it has like the safety pin and these little things right here. I love this hat so much. I can't wait to wear it. I don't even know what I'm wearing. I might wear it with this shirt. I mean, it's looking right. Maybe not this necklaces. I don't know. So that's that. Yeah, and I told y'all that was $3.55, right? Yeah, it was $3.55. So next, these Dragonfly Wings design sunglasses. So these are kind of new arrivals, kind of. And as soon as I saw them, I was like, yep, I have to buy them. I don't care what other item I have to take out my cart. These are staying. So these, oh, they're so cute. They are so cute. So cute. So cute. I'm gonna get close. Now I'm gonna back off. These are so cute. And I see myself like, as soon as I saw them, I was just like, okay, Easter. I need some pastel colors. I would love to do like a all yellow suit, like a pastel yellow and have it like a little bit, you know, a little V cut. And yeah, just rock that with these. Ooh, it's a look. I gotta make that happen. Um, and then lastly are the, this is basically the same item as the black one, the flat top sunglasses, but they're in nude. And this is another one that I was like, yeah, hands down. I'm getting this regardless. Aren't these like, these are also on my Instagram. So most of these pieces I've already taken pictures in and stuff. Um, but yeah, now y'all get to see them. And it's like a really thick plastic, like a really, really, I don't know if y'all can see like how thick of a plastic that is, but it's a really thick, nice plastic. So these don't last a really long time. Now we're going to get into the clothes portion of this video. So the first item I have is this tartan, tartan, however you pronounce it. Please comment below. Um, block, color block pleated skirt. So it's this really cute, um, I hate that I have to do this. My camera's weird and you're either gonna see the ground or you're gonna see me, I don't know. Um, but it's like a pleated skirt and I'll insert a picture of me wearing it. This is also on my Instagram and it's just like, it's red, blue, um, green, and then yellow. And it's just like colorful. It does have a zipper in the back. It's an invisible zipper. And then it also has like a hook and eye, which is so helpful because sometimes your skirts be too tight and just having that helps to zip it up so much easier. The waistband, so I got this in a size large. Um, the waistband is actually a little bit tighter than the rest of the skirt. Um, so I would just say, you know, like be aware of that. Nothing bad though. I got this for $10.61. And what else was I gonna add? Oh yeah, it's actually like one of the longest skirts that I own, to be honest. Um, it comes to like uh, three quarters down my thigh. Like, yeah, I'd say there's about a quarter from my knees to the end of the hem. And I put it on with this shirt. I don't think I, I don't know if I'd actually wear it on. Kind of looks okay. So I might just throw these on with like my feelers because those are like my favorite shoes. Ever. So next I have this belted solid solid pleated belted PU skirt. So if you don't know what PU is, it's like basically a cheaper type of leather and it's shinier. It is super short. So my ladies, I got a booty. And let me just tell y'all either wear something underneath it or wear something over it something because if you got a butt you cut it close this so yeah but this is a skirt oh i got this in a size large i got it for twelve dollars and 48 cents and um yeah it fits really really flattering and really really good i love this dress so much um so this is my very first um what is it called blazer dress so like i feel like every woman needs 
a blazer dress. I want a full closet full of them, but we gonna get there. But yes, I love this so much. Um, I love just like how it fits. I love that it gives a little bit of sexy because I can I can work with this. I can either keep it just like this, or I can wear a turtleneck. You know, check your girl out. This last piece, y'all. This last piece. <laughs> okay, baby. Okay. This is so cute. This is like one of my favorite dresses that I own. So this is called the Solid Breasted Flat Detail Fold Pastel Shirt Dress. I'm not gonna say it again. And I got this in a size large and it was $14.98. So look y'all, sis, you need this dress. You need the dress. First of all, let's get into like the sleeves. This right here is just so like regal and I don't know, it's just serving so much for me. Um, bodice right here just has like some some pleating going on hence the term pleating and then it kind of like it fits definitely like an a-line but just like the fact like this section right here where the pleating is is a little bit tighter than the rest of the flow of the dress but it's a little bit stretchy too so you get that tight you know waist effect and then even though it is supposed to fit like an A-line dress, just like the pleats kind of create that, you know, natural form for you. So get into this dress. But this is the last item. And I hope you guys enjoyed this story time slash um, Shein clothing and accessories haul. Thank you for rocking with me, y'all. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and hit the bell to be notified and if you are a returning culturist welcome back baby please keep on coming back love to have you here so thank you guys so much and have a great day